Okay, so this was one of my first instruments, although when I was young I had a smaller one. This is called an alto recorder, so it's larger. Uh, it has these six main holes, I, so you see the six main holes, and then there's this extra hole, and then this one which you're supposed to slant to the side. It, when I bought it, it came uh, disassembled, so it comes in three pieces, and um, you just screw it together, and so, yeah, it's like your basic children's instrument, and it's one of the first things I learned on, so I, I usually have my left hand on the top, and my right hand on the bottom and then so with this part here you just screw it to the side there so your pinky can reach and that way you can hold all the holes and then of course there's a hole in the back here and I'm just I've been playing with it for like 10 minutes before this video this is like really early childhood stuff, so uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know much. Um, I got some sheet music of Johann Sebastian Bach, and uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little ambitious <laughs> considering what I uh, know currently. Um, but yes, uh, I figured out the first part of Hot Cross Buttons or three blind mice, they're the same song. Uh, it goes hot cross buns, hot cross buns, three for, a, I don't know, I, don't, I forget how it goes. Uh, and then uh, three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run. Three blind mice. You know that song, okay. So it goes, you you start off with uh, pressing back on here, and you press the first one. This is like your beginner's lesson uh, of a uh, recorder. Let's see, I suck. <laughs> uh, uh, you have to. This this is an alto recorder, the soprano recorder the fingers or the holes are closer together and like I should mention like the fact that there's two holes here that means you can press like half or full and then half or full and also on the back this is a more advanced technique but sometimes you can like press like half of it for some of the songs it's, uh, I, 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 I don't really remember what happened and why I stopped taking this stuff, but, um... That's as far as I got. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember what the notes are. Um, I think. Okay. So hold on a second. On this keyboard, the the notes would be something like do do do. Do 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 I'm I'm doing it wrong I think I'd have to play it on I think I have played it on the keyboard in one of my other videos um, 
so that's basically it and of course you could just go like and to clear the spit you go and uh, basically um, you want to be careful when getting into music because I'm sure I don't need to tell you but music is associated with in popular Canadian society um, at least when I was young these days maybe it's not um, I mean you could go many ways with what this represents but let's just stick to reality and say this is a flute it's not a flute it's a recorder but let's just stick to re reality and say this is a windpipe for making music <laughs> and music is an end to itself and not a progression towards something else so that's just what I would like to say about that thank you for your time hello I really need some sleep <laughs>